Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we are going to be talking about an awesome open source tool called Effectseer, and an awesome open source engine called the Godot Game Engine. You've probably heard of at least one of them, but I actually covered Effectseer at one point in time back in the channel. If you missed that video, well, hey, you should be uh, liked and subscribed and check it out. This is the Effectseer video. I'm not going to go into a ton of detail with Effectseer, so if you want to learn more about Effectseer, I do have this video up. However, this here is Effectseer. What I'm going to do is start with some eye candy, and then we will go from there. What this basically allows you to do is create elaborate particle effects. Let's go ahead and see one in action. Wait for it. Wait for it. And boom. So that is one kind of example of the particle effects that you can create using effects here. Again, this is a free and open source tool, and it has a number of runtimes for several different game matches. I'm going to go ahead and open up a different example. Kind of just gives you an idea of some of the other things that you can do with it. So let's do... Um, do a sonic boom. All right, here you can see a sonic boom special effect, and there. So it kind of gives you an idea of the kind of capabilities of this particle system in effects here. We got a couple of other ones here too. Let's see a uh, magic water, like so cool. And then finally, let's go ahead and see tune water. So you can get an idea of the capabilities of effects here. So you can do some really, really cool particle effects with the effects here. You can see the, the elaborate. Uh, multi emitters, so on, all of the various different things that are going on, the impacts, the splashes, the particles, everything that are here are controlled over here in this timeline. Again, I'm not going to get into a ton of detail on effects here, but I want you to know what we were talking about in the first place. By the way, this again is a free tool. So what we're talking about it today though, because of is there is now an exporter for the Godot game engine. There's actually exporters for several other game engines. We'll get back to that in a second, but the one that was just released is for the Godot engine. And it's pretty straightforward in the way it works. Now, first off, it is implemented as a module. Now, there are a number of different ways you can implement implement things in Godot. Modules are basically written in C++. They are binary files that you add to your project. So go here, we'll take a look at projects. You're going to see plugins. Effects here for Godot is enabled that way. So what the downside to modules is you have to build them basically for each version of Godot. So if you upgrade Godot, you're going to have to rebuild the modules. But otherwise, they're just DLLs you drop into your project and enable. Once it is there, what it does is it adds a couple of new nodes. We'll come up here, we'll search for EFA, and then we'll see here we've got Effects here Emitter 2D and Effects here Emitter 3D. And once you've got that in, here we are in a 3D project. Here is an effects here 3D admitter, and then it's good, it takes an effect. Now, this is the file, these two right here. These are the binary files that you generate using the effects here tool. And then once you've got that in place, by the way, that tool is available for Windows and Mac. I don't think there's a Linux build, unfortunately, but it may run under uh, emulation of some kind. So we're going to go ahead here and take an example. So we got laser in. All right, laser is good to go. And we're just going to go ahead and run this scene right now. And there is the laser. Let's go ahead and play that again and zoom back out. So what you're seeing here is you basically can run the effects seer special effects scenes that you're creating using obviously enough effects seer in the Godot game engine. <coughs> Pretty cool stuff. At the same time, uh, we can drop in. So that was a laser effect. Let's bring a different one in here. Let's bring in uh, ring shape one and just basically drop it in, replace the effect and run. All right, that's, <coughs> excuse me. That's pretty straightforward, uh, pretty basic example, but you can see what you can do with that one. Now, the cool thing here is with these guys, you can also pass in some parameters. So for example, I can change out the color, I can change out the speed. So you've got a little bit of control over uh, specializing the effects from directly inside of Godot. Let's go ahead and run that guy again. And now you will see the red version. So pretty straightforward uh, in how things are executed. Uh, really a cool project. Effects here is an awesome particle effect creation tool. And you can use it in just about every single game engine out there, including now the Godot game engine. Now, if I also come down here, you'll notice this project ships with it, by the way. But there is this 2D scene here as well. Same basic concept, but in this case, 2D. All right. So that's kind of that. Uh, this one is implemented as an effects seer uh, module again, but this one again is just 2D. At the same time, you can also pass in the values that affect it and change things up on the fly. So let's say we wanted blue particles instead. Let's go ahead and run that. And there you see we have blue particles. So uh, it's 2D and 3D projects. You can basically bring out these effect et files, whatever they want, however you want to pronounce that, and drop them in. You know, you'll notice if I go back to effects here, you've actually got the ability to switch between a 2D and a 3D view. So depending on what kind of particle system you are ultimately working on, 
you can view it accordingly uh, in effects here. So if this was a 2D effect, you could create it like so. So pretty cool stuff. Now let's learn a couple more details. So again, I have done a hands-on video with effects here. So if you want to learn more about effects here itself, see it a little bit more elaborate. I don't know if I created my own particle system or not in this video, uh, but I will link this in the linked article down below. Now, uh, if you want to go ahead and grab it yourself, it is available at effectsseer.github.io. I will, of course, have this link down below. Uh, there's 1.53b beta available for, as I said earlier on, it is for Windows and Mac. There doesn't seem to be any Linux builds, unfortunately. There is also a 1.60 beta release. Uh, if you want to go ahead and grab the Godot project, this is on GitHub. It is open source MIT licensed. There are binary versions that were compiled recently. Uh, this is the only release is the beta version, uh, but that is available in binary form for the Godot engine. You can also go ahead and build it yourself. It's pretty straightforward. You just have to have uh, Python and scons and Visual Studio installed. Those are all things you need to have installed to build Godot itself anyways. Uh, clone these two repositories. And then the only area where it kind of uh, differed is in this case, what you want to do is actually change into this directory, wherever you clone this one, and then into this subfolder right here and run the build right there. Otherwise you get some kind of a pathing error, at least as of right now, but otherwise pretty straightforward and easy to build. Uh, there is an included file in the project itself. So if you come down here and think dev and then the Godot folder, there is a project you can open up and check things out. This is what we've been looking at in this particular example. Cool thing about uh, effects here for Godot, it is under the MIT source license, which is a good license. It's the same license that the Godot game engine itself is under. So you can use this in commercial games, no problems at all. All right, so effects here itself, if you are interested, it is also an open source project available right here. It is under the MIT license as well, which is good. Um, the source code is mostly C++. Um, and yeah, you'll notice otherwise, it also has runtimes for Unity, Unreal Engine 4, WebGL, Cocos 2DX, uh, DirectX itself. Uh, and then now we have Godot 3 in here as well and RPG Maker. So uh, that's the cool thing here. Effects here has runtimes for a number of different languages. And as you can tell from this video, it also has one for the Godot game engine as well. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check it out, as I mentioned earlier on, there are binary versions. As long as you are using Godot, I think this is built for 3.2 point whatever, the current release, um, you can grab the beta version right here. If you're sometime in the future, you may have to build it yourself to get the binaries, but it, it shouldn't be a challenge by any means. So I will have this link to the binaries as well. If you don't want to go through the building process, you don't really have to. And then finally, and this is kind of cool, this is from the effects here tweet themselves. They have this video here. I don't know why this is shot in four to three aspect ratio. It doesn't stay that way, but you can see an example, by the way, terrible, terrible compression. This is directly from Twitter. So you know what that looks like, but you can see what it is capable of, right? So there is effects here, that water demonstration we saw earlier on, but look at this one. They've actually did an update of the Gitto third person shooter example to use some of the effects here, special effects like so. So it kind of gives you an idea of what the effects here uh, particle systems can be used for in a more uh, polished or, or complete game than just the demo. So uh, definitely a neat project on the whole and definitely one I would recommend checking out. So if you want, I do do this video, do do, I do do this video on effects here in the past. I think I meant to say did. I did do this video on the uh, effects here in the past. So if you want to learn more about effects here itself, do do so. Uh, but effects here available here, free download is something definitely worth pulling down and playing with. It is a really cool project program uh, capable of doing some really cool stuff that is also free and open source and works with so many different game engines, including the Godot now. So uh, excellent uh, project on the whole, uh, one that I think you should be definitely aware of if you're not already. And if you want to be aware of this kind of stuff going forward, again, hit like, subscribe and all that stuff, and you will never miss out except for when you know YouTube screws up and notifications don't work, which is any day ending with day for the most part. But Hit those bell, hit that subscribe and all that stuff later. And uh, hopefully you'll find some cool tools on this channel. So that's Effects here, now running in Godot. What do you think? Let me know, comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.